All right, Jamie, what are all these weird symbols on your boat? Suppose I haven't spoken about this directly in a while, so here we go, super serious mode. This is an adventure builder symbol. And these under here are virtues of an adventure builder. There's eight of them. All right, before I get into the eight virtues, what's the point? Why even have a philosophy like this? Is it good for anything? Well, throughout the day, we make thousands of decisions, right? Occasionally, there's a big decision to make. And uh, people stop and ponder it, think of the pros and cons, future consequences, and you have time to figure out a good answer. But most decisions we make, you just kind of have to make on the spot. You know, am I going to watch this TV show or go to bed? Am I going to go to work on time or catch an extra 15 minutes of sleep? Am I going to talk to this girl or am I not going to? Am I going to eat this? Blah, I mean, just the thousands of decisions you make. And all those decisions add up to, to choosing a direction in your life. They, they define your path and they end up defining who you are as well as your, your life. Now, if you look at any one of these decisions, it's really easy to say, ah, this one isn't important, this doesn't matter. But it's kind of like, it's kind of like if you save the change every time you bought something. So every time you go to buy something, you get 50 cents back, 25 cents, whatever. Every, if every time you, you did that, you put it in a jar, you know, it's, it's like nothing. It's just it's a bit of change thrown there. But then at the end of a year, it's like $1,000 or $2,000, like it, it adds up to, to make something significant. And your little decisions are, li are, are like that, but even more amplified. So if you look at any one of those decisions, it's, it seems unimportant, but you add them all up, thousands and thousands over days and months and years, they define who you are and what your life is. Now, <clears throat> if you don't have an internal philosophy of your own, you'll end up being directed by by external things you'll end up taking taking cues from other places and there's constantly stuff around us telling us what to do you know tv books talking to other people there's all these little little cues saying go this way go that way do this buy that you know all this stuff and if you don't have an internal value system of your own you just go along with whatever you're you're being told it's kind of like uh, if you're the friend who doesn't have a car then you just get in your, your friend's car and you're happy that you're being driven anywhere. So if you don't have any value system of your own, you're much more likely to just be happy with any value system. Like you're just happy someone is telling you what to do because you don't know what to do. It's kind of difficult to explain the difference between having a moral system internally and not having one to someone who doesn't have one. Because like two people will watch the same sitcom and the person with no internal compass, no internal morality will watch it and just be, and just laugh and, you know, take all the information and be like, oh, ha, that's great. Oh, I love this. And then the person with their own, with an internal moral code will watch it. And every few seconds, they'll be thinking, no, 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 no. Why are these people telling me this? They're trying to trick me into thinking this or doing that, or they want me to be like this. Ah, all that's garbage. I'm doing my own thing. And once you have your own moral code, you start seeing all this, I'm just going to call it propaganda. You see, you start seeing all this stuff around you in the world that's trying to direct you. And, uh, you know, people who don't have that kind of internal moral compass, they'll, they'll say things like, oh, you just think there's propaganda everywhere, it's conspiracy theories, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's no, it's people are trying to sell you stuff. Constantly. They're trying to control you, get you to do stuff, kind of direct you, nudge you in certain directions. I mean, I don't think I don't think there's anyone who can reasonably deny that goes on all the time. Just ask marketers. I mean, that's that's their job. People in advertising, their job is to tell you what to do. It's happening all the time. Now, if you if you don't have your own if you can't figure out your own moral system. Follow someone else's. Find someone else who, who's going in a direction that you think is good and, and kind of emulate them a little bit. And that's one of the reasons I started originally sharing my adventure builder philosophy because I know there are, there are a lot of people who have kind of similar vague ideas and I just made it into this concrete cohesive thing that's 
you know, easy to, easy to grasp. So feel free to use, use my ideology and, you know, paint, paint my symbols wherever you want to remind yourself and whatever. But it doesn't have to be me, you know, whoever. And uh, it has to be something that jives with you too. So, you know, change things that you need to to make it work with yourself. Just don't BS yourself to make your life easier. Trust me, it doesn't make your life easier. All right, I could go on about that forever. But here, let me let me just get into what the actual virtues are of the adventure builder. Okay, first, I've got this thing here. I used to have a huge poster version of this I drew, but it didn't make it to Panama. Anyway, I, I think of myself, or like a human being in general, to be a mind, a body, and a spirit. You know, a body being all the parts you could kick. A mind roughly being all the ideas that you can express concretely. And then a spirit is everything... Yeah, kind of abstract and intangible. So that basically covers everything that I am. Now the the virtue of your body is strength. The virtue of your mind is honesty. The virtue of your spirit is love. And then, you know, these combine to make courage because when you take your strength and the love into the world, that gives you courage. And this is your own honesty and when you combine your honesty with your strength, it means you're taking your honesty out into the world, you have honor. And that's sharing your honesty basically with others. And then your love and honesty combine to make imagination. And then all three combine to make your life. And back here hidden behind is humility. Because it's important to also realize that this whole thing could be wrong. All right, let's go through them one at a time. I've got my set of stencils here I used to paint the boat, and on top I've got courage. I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you're going to be afraid of things in the world. You're going to have fears in life. Don't let that scare you off. Face your fears. Obviously, I could go on for a while about any one of these. Uh, next, we've got love. Well, I mean, love is super important because... Any decisions you make with hatred in your heart ends up being destructive. Any decisions you make with love in your heart ends up being constructive and uh, you end up building better relationships with the people around you. Choose love whenever, whenever possible. Always. Just choose love always. Ah, imagination. Imagination is that magical stuff that gives you ideas and lets you solve problems that seem like they're impossible. It's like, it's like the wild card. So, so many times I'll have situations where it just doesn't seem like there's a solution, where I'm, I'm totally screwed. But then I'll keep thinking and thinking and thinking, and I'll start just throwing around ideas in my head and pulling things out of nowhere, and my imagination comes up with some solution, and suddenly the entire thing is changed and it's solvable. Imagination, important stuff. Honesty. Okay. Speaking of important stuff. Honesty for the adventure builder is all about honestly viewing the world. So don't believe people's lies. Don't lie to yourself. Don't, don't fool with information to sugarcoat the world and make it you know, a nicer place for yourself or, or anything like that. Don't let yourself be duped. And if you don't know the answer to something, don't fill in a blank. Just leave it as an unknown. And with any piece of information, you, it, at least this is how I do it. For, for me, it's really helpful to kind of assign a score, sort of like a percentage this is going to be true to any piece of information. So um, there's a hat on my head. I'm like 99% sure there's a hat on my head. Yeah, okay. So that piece of information has like a very high probability of being true. The ocean is right out there. And I can't directly see it. I'd say it's slightly less chance than the hat on my head, which I can see, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's there. Now, uh, there's a, a pink elephant outside. I'm like, I think that's probably close to 0% chance of being true. Could be, though. Anyway, that's how I deal with honesty. All my information has little scores next to it. All right, honor. Honor is roughly sharing your honesty with others. Telling the truth. It all breaks down to telling the truth. So it breaks down to telling the truth with information. It, it, you have to 
uh, follow through with what you say. So if you say something, if you say, I'm going to meet you here at this time, you are going to be there at that time. If someone asks you a question and you think, well, maybe I shouldn't tell them the real answer because it might hurt their feelings. You know what? If you're an adventure builder, you can skip that whole waste of time. Just blurt out the truth and don't worry about it. Because the truth is more important than, I don't know, than, <laughs> than whatever lying does. All right, strength. Uh, strength is basically, you know, your, your physical strength. It's your, your physical self is everything you've got to deal directly with the world out here. And the stronger you are, the more you can handle, the more you can do for the people that you love, and the more you can do with your life, and the more you can handle, the more, the more responsibility you can take on for yourself. Um, being strong is super important. It's what makes me get up in the morning and shout, yeah! And uh, it's gotten me through more difficult situations than probably anything else. Because a lot of times I'll get down to a point where I've used up all my resources and I've tried all my tricks and I'm just out of stuff. And all I've got left is just brute strength to force my way through to the finish line. Now, life. Ah, for the adventure builder, it's important to choose a life that is in line with adventure builder virtues. And then it's important to live that life with the adventure builder virtues. Um, so choosing, choosing your life is a very deliberate act and it, it is a virtue in, my, in, in this particular philosophy. Now the last one, humility. Uh, it's important to remain humble and understand that anything you're thinking, even this entire philosophy, this is, everything I said in this video could be wrong. And when you, when you keep in mind that anything, no matter how sure you are of it, anything could be wrong, it keeps the information fresh. It makes it so you can revisit it. So when you get new information, you can, you can apply it to the to whatever you knew before so whenever you have something that is an absolute and you're not humble about that information you know it is absolutely true and there's no negotiation that piece of information it becomes less useful because it can't it can't it is not surviving the tests of questioning it anymore but when a piece of information continually survives questions against it and can continue to, then you know that information is much more valuable. It's much, much more valid. It's much more likely to be true. So that's why it's so important to be humble. Yeah, that's about it. So I started following this philosophy, like I said, about, I don't know, over a decade ago. And, you know, at first it was a little tricky. And my, I'll tell you right now, one of the really difficult things to do is to, to be honorable to tell the truth because uh that is not something that is done in our society generally speaking and to to even to behave with love i mean it often gets gets you looked down upon by by people who are full of hatred you get a lot of ridicule and stuff but if you stick with it the changes that it makes in your life are just just incredible like i can't explain it you just have to do it and if you feel like trying it, I'm telling you, it is totally worth it. <clears throat> but if you don't, if you don't follow this philosophy, it, I just highly recommend that you follow some philosophy, some internal moral code that can help guide you in your own life to get you to where you want to be. Okay, I'm gonna stop being so serious now and go do some stuff. S serious stuff.